The HDR100 CAN bus trainer is designed to plant various bugs on CAN bus equipped vehicles. These are great tools for teaching low voltage electrical faults and how to decipher the fault using a digital storage oscilloscope. Now just be aware, you will induce faults into the vehicle under test. So be prepared to clear those faults before placing the vehicle back into service. All right, now connecting the device to the vehicle and then connecting the scope is pretty straightforward. So first, we connect the breakout box to the vehicle, turn the key on, key on engine off, and then for our scope, we're gonna take channels A and B. A is blue, B is red, so we're going to connect to the grounds. So pins four and five at the OBD2 connector are ground. So we'll just piggyback both of those on four. All right, and then we take channel A, which is blue, to pin six, which is can high. And we're going to connect B, which is red, to 14, which is can low. Okay, now we can see on the scope here that we've got a can signal. Now, what I do like to do is manually set the voltage ranges so you can pick a safe level. I usually go with 20 volts. We can do 10. So we'll select both of those at 10, and we've got a CAN circuit, okay? And the other thing that I like to do is take the sweep rate and set it at five seconds per division. And provided we've got you know high sample rate, then we can take one of our bugs and simply connect it to the line spies port. We're going to connect it and then disconnect it. All right. And then we'll hit the space bar to stop the scope and analyze the signal. So here we can take the zoom tool and zoom right in on that little segment where we had a change. We'll zoom in a little bit tighter here. All right and maybe a little bit tighter there. Okay. So now we can analyze this signal. So if we take our one of our voltage level cursors and find where the CAN bus was operating normally, we can see that both of these are right at two and a half volts. Okay. When the fault came in, we can go down to And we can see our voltage level is right around 50 millivolts. But we can zoom in a little bit further here to see if we can measure that. So 0 0.064 volts. And we're going to take our channel B and go down to the bottom. And we're at actually zero. Okay. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that can low, which is pin 14, is shorted to ground. We can see that can high is still toggling, and that's because the short only exists on the low side, on can low. And it's, but it's having an effect on the circuit influenced through terminating resistors. The toolkit comes with lab sheets, PowerPoint, and more to get your CAN bus low voltage training off to a great start. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.